Herbert, I'm just going to launch you straight in because I already introduced you before and um, so not to waste time. So I hope you can hear me. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> was a technical problem i was like a, i was a visitor here and i was uh, not in the backstage room so my name is herbert from uh, austrian strawberry network i'm also co-president of the um of the S of espa uh, the european strawberry uh, building association and i make it uh, short and in three parts Part number one is me as BN Networks. So this is how I started. I was born as a graphic designer in Vienna. Um, this was my main uh, profession and still uh, a, uh, a lot of networking and web designing and those stuff. Uh, we had an ecological magazine in Austria uh, for from 1990 to 1997 or eight, something like that. We had a big network, uh, first association with about 120 companies who were dealing with this uh, ecological stuff. Uh, at this time, they were sort of pioneers in Austria. So it was not just about Baubiologie. This is why uh, also our uh, URL comes from, our domain name comes from Baubiologie.at. Um, so it was about building, ecological building, natural building, uh, in cooperation with the Austrian Institute for Populogy and Ecology. Um, but it was also including all other aspects of healthy life, like cosmetics, natural cosmetics, natural textiles, and, and natural food, uh, and those things. And then in 1999, we got uh, some, or 1998, we got this book from Athena and Bill Steen uh, and David Bainbridge, uh, The Straw Bale House. And it was like uh, a sensation. We, we, we didn't knew all this stuff before, um, that it's possible to build a house just with straw bales. And <clears throat> at this time, you had to go to the li library and uh, your networking was mainly you uh, called friends or um, you, you you had a book and then you saw some addresses and you could write letters or something like that so networking was on a completely different level and um, this is how we started in 1999 we started with the network ASPN this was the first stage and I remember and I will share the screen for a moment <clears throat> I remember that uh, also we shared this is an old picture of uh, from uh, from the Wayback machine from 2013 for example where we cooperated already with Oliver Swen from Natural Homes him he programmed how, somehow this map and we could uh, we could uh, make a Austrian map and some other houses from other countries uh, in integrated with with Derek Links. This was a, a big success at this time to be able to network and to cooperate also with other networks. We wrote uh, about to, to uh, 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 a book in German um, about strawberry building, and this was my first connection to this networking. We just uh, wrote. Uh, yeah, email was already existing. We wrote emails and letters and we met at this ESPG. This is the European Strawberry Gathering every two years, which takes place in some other uh, country every two years. And there I met all these uh, uh, guys from other strawberry networks in Europe. We are at uh, part two, and this is about <clears throat> Europe, ESPA and Stonatur. Um, so uh this was the the second step uh about 2014 15. so in 2015 all these uh european networks decided to uh, to work together because we saw in the last 10 years since 2000 uh, around 2000 that many of the works were done here and here and here and here and here and double work because we don't have this common language in Europe. We have several <laughs> languages. Some of us don't speak all these languages or most of us, I assume. And this was a bit of a problem naturally restricting our networking. If you compare that to USA or Britain connected uh, in this language area to USA. And it was not uh, 
absolutely uh, normal for us to speak in English at this time. So we learned it in school. We could a little bit con uh, uh, make a conversation, but it was not so easy to make a joke, for example, in English that somebody laughed. So networking was restricted by language, by borders uh, and, and, and those things. And then came this idea of, of, of European Union. We could build houses everywhere in Europe, for example, and uh, uh, build in the straw bales and plaster it with clay. So at this time already the the networks which dealt with with uh, straw bale building uh, had always the the clay plaster because these two techniques are married. They, they they are connected. You cannot divide them, separate them. When we make a workshop, for example, and we make workshops here since uh, 2010, then <clears throat> we always uh, make a workshop about straw bale building and clay plastering because this is just one for us, just one day. Now, in 2015, all these networks came together and we formed ESPA, the, the European Straw Bale Association or Straw Bale Building Association um, in Venice. At this time, we met uh, in a wonderful European city, Venice, and, and decided to work together to agree uh, about who will do what, when, so that uh, the events and all this stuff is somehow coordinated. And parallel to that, in Austria, we formed a network which was called Stronatur. Uh, I will also show you uh, and share uh, the screen. So this is ESPA website. We took over this system now and have about 2000, uh, 1,500 houses here on the ESPA website, website which is strawbuilding.eu. And with Stronatur, we tried to build an Austrian network <clears throat> where we document all the houses. This is also bilingual, so in German and in English. Um, Sorry, I didn't share it, so I, I share it now. Uh, this is the ESPA website, and this is uh, on strawbuilding.eu, and this is our website on strawnatur.at. And <clears throat> since 2017, and this is part three already, uh, part of the future visions or dreams and the win-win situations, we... <clears throat> Uh, we made uh, out of a long process of preparation, we made uh, um, the European Straw Bay Training. It's called STEP, uh, Straw Bay Training for European Professionals. So you will find it on our page, baubilogi.at, just on the main page. Uh, this is about this eight months course. It's quite similar to the Edgewood course of Earth, uh, because when we designed it uh, with the European institutions, many of these institutions were already familiar with the Earth, Earth Edgewood course. And we took over the template of, of, of this course uh, as a template for ESPA as well. And... <clears throat> And then the third part about the visions, uh, we uh, so we had ESPA and we had a lot of different activities uh, in all the countries. And the last big uh, uh, project uh, in the last two years was the indirect project um, Upstraw. And from this uh, project Upstraw, we have a lot of uh, different uh, results. For example, this database uh, we have on the ESPA website is um, is uh, result one of the results of ESPA. So our uh, topic was uh, united organizations, not just United Europe, uh, also uh, United Organizations and Associations, and they share uh, the content. You don't see anything here, so I will stop the screen sharing. <clears throat> but the vision was uh, that out of this, all out of these different activities, which usually um, are finished when a funded pro European project is finished. And this is the problem. Many universities work on wonderful projects for two years when it's funded. And then after it stops, you forget your friends you knew before like that. And you uh, for forget your con connections. You have a kind of a wonderful feeling when you think back on the 
these times, but you are already in the next uh, project because you have to finance your organization and all this stuff and uh, like that. And <clears throat> so our trial at ESPA was that well, we care about these leftovers and, and uh, products of all these projects, which were somehow connected with natural building in general. Uh, there are a lot of uh, research results we collected and took over and categorized on ESPA website. And this is the big dream uh, because we have this year from uh, July 30th to August uh, 1st or 2nd, we have the ESPG again and we try to make this a uh, European event so that in every country like here we are uh, in this Earth Build Europe uh, uh, connection to the whole world, uh, not just Europe, what I saw in the chat, um, that we are able to, to uh, make these events in each country at the same time and everyone benefits out of the event of the other one. So it's a win-win situation, what we try to establish in ESPA. And the next big step for us is that we want to invite, and we invited already the, the European uh, Earth Building Networks to, to cooperate with the slow building networks, because we need to pull on one rope together to be able to cope these challenges of climate change. This is what I wanted to say about that stuff.